could be a long drive, a long walk, or a quiet night where there are moments in our lives when we are left alone facing big questions. These questions do not occupy our minds only, but they occupy our souls as well. Questions like, does God really exist? Who are we? Is there life after death? What is life? What is death? I think these questions are fascinating. They are big questions, and they have been in the minds and imaginations of humans since our existence. But which one is the biggest? As far as I'm concerned, they all are important and equally fascinating. They touch my soul. They all deserve wondering. They deserve time and energy to think about. Thinking about these questions make my life meaningful. For much of my life, several ideas, concepts and questions have excited me, and I love thinking and imagining them. Among these ideas, concepts and questions, the idea and the concept of humanity, and the question, what is the future of humanity? When I think about humanity, I confront unstable feelings. I think that humanity is either the most beautiful story ever told or the most tragic story ever told. On one hand, I feel optimistic. I am optimistic in that to try to appreciate humanity is to look at the beautiful side of humans. In other words, to concentrate on the good deeds of humans, to look at the great civilizations humans have created, and to see how humans take care of each other, feel the pain of others, while on the other hand I feel depressed. Depressed in that, to try to understand humanity is to see what catastrophes humans have created. For that, we need to do something simple. We look at history. We can think of wars, poverty, but also we can think of a person who wants to hurt and who wants to destroy our lives. Trust me, there are many of them. In research to understand humanity, I took a step back and started to think about the meaning of the term human. And for that, I wanted to understand what a non-human is. To find an answer, I thought, that looking at artificial intelligence might be helpful and it might be a good start and it might give me a way of thinking. My aim has been to see how artificial intelligence determines, if at all, the present and perhaps the future of humanity. The very beginning of my interest to study artificial intelligence started when Stephen Hawking one of the most recognizable scientists and former professor at Cambridge University stated that the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. This was a catchy and amazing warning or hypothesis. Was Stephen right? Or was he wrong? As for now, nobody has an answer. What we see today is that artificial intelligence has impacts on almost all fields of our lives, from love, relationships, to healthcare, education, economy, and politics. It has also great impact on our fundamental human-centric understanding of the universe. In a universe 
where we see ourselves as unique social, political, and rational animals. Artificial intelligence has forced us to rethink our relationships with non-humans, such as robots. But what is artificial intelligence and what is about artificial intelligence and its impact on humanity that provokes such strong emotions? Now let's go together and discuss these issues with some of the world's leading scholars. The idea, of course, is not to search for absolute answers. Trust me, I'm not interested in absolute answers because I don't think they exist at all. What makes life exciting is to ponder these questions and issues. Listen to people who have unique ideas and wise way of thinking. This is Lucas Cardiel and this is Conversation with Noble Minds. I start with a prominent scholar, David Gunkel, who takes this question seriously. David is an American professor at Northern Illinois University. He works on many topics, including the philosophical assumptions of emerging technologies. Before I start, I want to introduce Joanna Bryson, a prominent professor working on artificial intelligence and ethics. Hiroshi Ishiguro, professor at Osaka University. He is known as the father of humanoid robotics. Ben Schneiderman, an American computer scientist and a distinguished professor at the University of Maryland. He works extensively on human-centered artificial intelligence. Alexander Stubb, former Prime Minister of Finland. He is also an academic and writer and has a long experience in the European and international politics. And finally, Wendel Vala, a professor, ethicist and a scholar at Yale University. He works mostly on the ethics and governance of emerging technologies.